you know what? Anubis, I think this would work well for you. Since you've got high um, high intelligence. Our Zerker also has high intelligence, though. Oh, no, no, not as high. So, yeah. This will do 1.3 damage every time an enemy plays a card. Just straight up 1.3 damage. To a random enemy as well. Interesting. So I might go in all sorts of directions. Hmm. Nice. Okay. Let's have a look. First and foremost. A minus 13. You're going to recover this fast, but you will lose one-fifth of your health every turn. I think it may actually be better for me to just do a ritual. Not actually sure that we've got enough for it anymore. No, we don't. Got enough fish. Actually, no, we, we're okay. We've got enough wooden fish to do it. There we are. But we're going to need more wood and more fish. Oh, I'll do for now. Uh, well, actually, since we're here. We're only pausing for one turn. A witch hut walks over to you on its chicken foot, and a voice booms from within. I smell sweet, sweet darkness clutching your souls. And where is the man I bring supply? Pay, my dearies, and your curses shall be cured. Just remember, I like quantity, not quality. Magic user, ask for a professional discount, as you only need the facilities and some supplies. You can manage the rest. Hmm, sounds reasonable. You will pay less, my dearie. Pay for one curse. And it is the spiritual curse that we've got going right now. Uh, we don't need sandstone, so. Spirit. Ah, oh, thank goodness. There we are. Now, we used that that uh, effect, and it still only brought you up to a point where you've got 10 fates. You're still going to lose a little bit of health, but uh, it's fine. We should be okay. Let's break camp and start moving out. Now, which battle do we want to go for? Oh, I, I right-clicked instead of left-clicked. That was silly of me. And now we don't even get to start. Oh, my lord. Fine. My own bloody fault. Uh, we may as well do some other gathering while we're here, actually. That is pointless. I'm here in fact. No, don't run away! Oh, you scallywags! I've got to chase you even further. Don't worry. That we may be getting to the point where you're about to level up. Jake is leveling up in three turns. And your mysticism is now back down to five. However, how much, how much do you need for a level up? You need quite a lot, actually. I don't think it's even possible for you to get that. You know? Do we chase the light bringers down or do we head back towards the nest? Uh actually we should be able to do this one. Got spider's lair, some more light bringers, okay. Uh face them with our spirit. We might even be able to get a perfect that yeah, a perfect outcome with auto resolve. Um wooden heavy armor new. And some other bits and bobs. Very little. Very little from there. Uh, might as well camp again. How are we doing for food? Ooh, actually we're starting to, starting to hurt for food a little bit. Let's make some, some good grub. Can't 
do much of anything there. But I can make some of this. We'll just make one. Then we're going to make it with fish. Uh, make one. Then fish and fish. Some baked fish. Make one of those. And finally, some berries and some fish as well. You'll actually be able to do all of those in one go. <laughs> Let's actually put that properly to the test then. I think that'll that'll be uh, good to see. All right, pass the turn. Oh, thank goodness you came to have a fight. Also, auto. I I don't know why I'm skipping the fights. I actually enjoy them, but <laughs> I I think a part of my my brain is like, ah, we've only got a few turns until he grows up quickly as fast as you can. As if auto resolving makes that. You know, allows us to get more done. <laughs> it absolutely doesn't. Ah, my brain. My brain, why? No. Oh. Did I allow you to make... No, you didn't. You didn't just drop down. So they don't just go all the way through. So, uh... We have now confirmed. And or denied. All right. Still low faith alert, though. Oh, it's because it's night time. Yeah, that's fine. Let's see what we got on here. Another cemetery! Have a closer look. Despite its first appearance, this seems to be an old dwarven burial ground. An unusual find. You spot a rugged group of grave robbers who got here before you. Uh, wait, so they leave or attack? Right now, what we want is more EXP. So I think we're going to go for the level 3 attack. Alright. This is going to be an interesting battle. None of them have got a lot of health, so Dark Havoc should be able to just wall up them all, but it's an opportunity for us to see some different characters than we usually do. So Dark Havoc in there with your wallop stick. Ow! You wretch! Okay. Now, your snare ability did not trigger. Another 13 damage is hardly going to make any difference to Dark Avid. At this point, I'd just be speeding him up. He's already going to act first, so let's not go with that route. Let's instead put a meat shield up front with a whomping great spear attack and also 17... Uh, slow down, which is really good. Uh, next up, we're going to get a spirit in play. Yeah, Dark Havoc does make it a bit easier, to be fair. With that, we're going to play the Archer, because the Archer is going to be able to do... Um, slow down damage. It's going to be able to generally slow our enemies right down. I think I am going to buff Dark Havoc at this point, though. Excellent. Absolutely the worst thing you could possibly have done. But I approve. You decided to double down with your strongest character. Now, a spirit is not particularly strong in this kind of combat, but that's fine. And then it doesn't matter who you attack. Hmm. 
Now we just take turns smacking them back, right? I want to get rid of some of the cards, though, but... Uh, once again, let's get Dark Havoc into the fray. Dark Havoc is now somewhat powered up at this point, so we're going to just rely on Dark Havoc at this, this point now. We increase his damage by, like, two points every time we place anything. Though, he just it got downgraded in, in overall power because the enemy used an ability. Which is uh, rather, rather rude of them, frankly. There we go. And we'll also play you simply for the fact that uh, we can get rid of the cards they've got in reserve a little bit faster this way. About show sure, we'll pop in a spider. It'll already do poison damage simply because this has already lost health. Dark Havoc, a goblin with many talents indeed. You destroy the grave robbers and put the graves back as they should be. You feel the spirits of metal and stone favour you. Nineteen meat, three bone, and some leather. Bow to the spirits and thanks. We've got a mental blessing, which I, I would have been great if it could have been a special blessing, I'm just saying. But that was actually a lot of experience points for that. That was a lot of experience points for that. Jake, how long? I need barely any experience to get you up. <sighs> Can I get to the rituals I need? No. Unfortunately, I need three research points to get to the spiritual blessing. It would also require materials that I just don't have. Sadly. Hmm. Yeah. We could have used the blood bone that we've got, or the topaz. I don't know if we've got enough topaz here. and herbs to have done that, but we can't get to that one. So alas, it is all down to whether or not we can finish off or well, complete enough quests, basically. You find the nest, a uh, nesting ground of creatures roaming the land. Uh, okay. We'll just clear it. They're not particularly a strong group. In fact, it's a very easy group. Six meat. Very nice. Tiny bit of EXP, but it will be enough. You will now level up on the next turn. Hooray. Got some Elvenwood over there. Nice. And some gold. Well, not that it's going to help, but by camping, our characters will, uh, will regenerate a little bit faster. Almost to the point now where we can research that in one turn. If you eat more variety, do you get a buff? Yes. Morale improves, and that feeds into sanity, and also lots of different buffs, actually. Uh, battle orders? Uh, at this point, no, you're, you're getting a high level now. We're going to go down toughness route for you. Jake... Many sadnesses. I forgot which uh, which level it was going to be for you. There was no chance of this being a, a stat level, regardless. But we'll buff up your protective wood. I mean, getting a crafter level, you've not been... Well... I mean... Yeah, I think protective wood. Makes you a little bit more flexible in battles. Sadly, 
your sanity is really not levelling up right now. Alright, we've discovered yet another cemetery. Have a look. Uh, the cemetery is quiet and empty. You see an unburied body on the ground, clutching a stash of goods. Uh, grab the stash, take the stash, and bury the body. Um, no. See, the problem is, I'd like to bury the corpse. But, we'll probably end up with a curse, so I'm just going to leave. I say no to this. We'll come... Oh, apparently we can come back later. Okay, that's nice. Uh, but no. Not going not gonna to play around with that right now. We can't afford a curse. Sudden gusts of wind heralds the coming of a dirt storm. Try to find shelter and set up camp to hide from the dirt storm. This will be ultra easy for us. Oh, wow. You gain permanent crafting. Okay. You find a good spot and set up a strong camp that withstands the sandstorm. You also find the wind has blown some remains for you to loot. Uh, okay. Wow. That was unexpected. I'm not going to have sandstone javelins now. Um, don't we? Well, actually, we'll keep them, I guess. Okay. Not bad. Actually, not bad. Usually those kinds of events all have some sort of positive or negative to them. Um, as, as stated in chat there, if you go with push, it'll give permanent strength, but sometimes it's just nice to have a look at some of the other things. Now, it would have been much more useful on the crafter had we gotten crafting for them, and it would have been crazy useful if that had been the case, but alas, no. But it's fine. Camp. How many foodstuffs have we got? Yeah, we're fine still. We've got plenty of wood still as well. Okay. The traumatic events of the last few days made it clear your child is a child no more. They now face the time of the croppings, the rite of passage into adulthood. But this path is never easy. You must now choose what journey the young will take before, God's willing, they may return to you as an adult. Sadly... We don't have uh, have any option regarding Mystic. Yeah. Could become a healer. We don't have any dedicated gatherers right now, though. Like, we have no dedicated gatherers. I've already got a healer. I don't mind you having two, I suppose, isn't a bad thing either. Because if you get two healers, you can leave one with the village. And the other one goes with the party. But uh, we're going to go with Gatherer. The path of Gatherers is not filled with physical danger, but it is a grueling and demanding path still. There we are. Wow. It was so grueling, your hair changed colour. My lord. Rejoice! And it's summertime. That was quite the grueling, grueling uh, ordeal. Okay, well, at this point, we no longer need that increased mysticism. We can swap these around. Um, these are lovely gathering tools, but they will be better on my gatherer. Yes, a lot better on my gatherer. Um, yeah, it was a male character in the first place, yeah. anything worth you wielding right now? Because you're not actually that strong. You've got a little bit of uh, of perception. And gatherers do benefit from perception, so that's probably where we're going to be building you from now on.
Yeah, I guess we will be building you more towards perception because of your gather trait from this point. Okay. Hidden amid the fog and shrubbery, you discover an ancient ruin before you. You search the old ruins until you realize that a dark, foreboding mist is descending upon this place. The black mist is a dreaded and remnant of the days of darkness. Call upon turmoil or magic to shield you. You have skilled wise ones with you. Battle this force of the darkness, the dark with your spirits. Uh, we will... Oh, interesting. Okay, well, we're going to jump into this uh, battle ourselves then. Not much in the way of uh, actual danger there, but uh, okay. Let's get you inspired. Now that was quite the inspire, to be fair. 2.4 increase. Wow. Because we've got the mental blessing right now. That was actually bonkers good. Uh, I approve. I approve greatly. Um... I think. Just straight up do it again. Uh, sorry, I, I will on the next one. There's almost no reason to play anything else right now because Dark Abbot is going to become strong enough that on his first move he'll kill things just in one hit anyway. There's nothing on this board that can now survive this first hit. Even without double double placing. Can you see the full body art for the new uh, character? Sure, flying lima beans. I'll pop them up in a moment. You defeat the darkness and can now attempt to siphon its power. Well, we're no longer worried about potentially cursing, so siphon the energy! Oh... We only managed to siphon it temporarily. Oh, well. Check the ruins for loot and leave. Uh, ooh. Medium leather armor. Okay. You can get permanent buffs with that. With siphoning the energy. Which are rather nice. Uh, okay. I guess I'll gather can have that, yeah, sure. Is this a better wand? No, it's exactly the same. Yeah, disappointed I, I didn't get uh, mysticism or spiritual. Or, or sorry, a, a destiny there. Because it, it could have happened. Alas, just went lucky. All right, our crafter here. And really, it's either one of these helps, honestly, at this point. Uh, Malakin, though, what are we building? Uh, again, we were going more for intelligence, but well, actually, intelligence or mysticism. Well, I guess we can grab intelligence. Spirit isn't a bad stat to rise, but it's not the one we wanted to. Let's go play with the snacks. We've done barely any actual... Oh, well, I suppose we have uh, covered a little bit down here. Uh, we're almost down to that that section of the the path, but we we peeled back to go north again, just in the hopes we might be able to get uh, enough to uh, get a, a favorable level up there. But uh, that is that is quite nice. We've got two gatherers now who are over two hundred. That's really good. Uh, do I want the sandstone? No, I actually don't. I'd just rather have more meat. I'll do. Okay, you know what? Let's have meat meat. 
Palpatine. Palpatine. Slavian meatballs and the way Granny used to make them. Very well. Let's get some meat meat. And then I would like... Um, some meat fish. We won't have enough, but I guess we can try. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's let's delete that because we won't have enough for it. And uh, let's instead go with oh, wrong one. Fish, seaweed. Uh, we'll go with we'll go with the uh, good old fish salad, and you can just make as much of that as you can. Go ahead. America's got, got a level up in uh, in strength. However, I would actually prefer you to have wits, so you just act a little bit faster if... Well... No, we'll, we'll go with... Uh, we'll go with wisdom. Good. Let's get in here. Find a nest. Uh, the nest and ground of creatures roaming this land. Clear the nest. Oh, ye gods. Perfect outcome anyway. All right. Got some scale leather from that and some blood bones too. Okay, royal snake and snake. Now, as much as I would like to not clear these nests, they level up. If you leave them alone long enough, you're going to be dealing with things you can't deal with. So it is important to deal with them early. Clear this nest. Oh, got a holic in there. Oof. All right. No, no, we're going to begin this one manually. Oh. Hello. 50 health person. Dear Lord. Now, with such a powerful enemy card, they may play that card multiple times. Okay, they will both be wiped out if Dark Havoc just gets a... Uh, gets to move first. Oh, wait, no, they're gonna move. They Are they summons? They must be. So they will both get a turn first, but that's okay. I, Dark Havoc can still wipe them all. Um, they can target anyway, which is a pain. What I need to do is I need to stunt and slow this enemy. I've slowed them down a little bit. Not enough, mind you, but a bit. Uh, you'll actually do five damage here. I could deploy people with with uh, multiple... Uh, with a multi damage on on summons, but I think this is easy enough. Let's go ahead and further buff Dark Havoc. No, no, we're gonna actually go for the further buff on you. There we go. Twenty da uh, twenty damage on a four point five second stun. Okay. Yeah, the poor print at the top of the cards means his summons. The other way to work it out is that summons typically act first. Oh, I see what you're up to, you scoundrels. of cards still. Get you into play. And Dark Havoc behind you. 
<laughs> the happy bees. No. Okay, yeah, you're ultra dead at this point. You're not even regular dead, you're just ultra dead. Um... friends with the kitty bee. <laughs> there we go. The nest is cleared and so you should have some peace for now. Got some amber, malachite, beetle jelly, some regular wood and some herbs. Good. Herbs are good. Herbs are very good actually. And that's the end for our movement but we should be able to gather some obsidian in two turns. And you know what? Are we in a particular rush right now? I don't think we are. So we'll go ahead and we'll do a spot of research here. And make some Golabki. A lot of Golabki. Ninety-six of them, in fact. <laughs> oh, my lord. <gasps> yes. Thank you for all you do, Avak. I started watching your old Thea playthrough the other day, and today you're streaming Thea too. So awesome. Hey, Miss Minnie, how are you doing? Yeah, going, going for ground shake. Three. Okay, so the current scaling is 1.2. The scaling will now be 1.5. Which means we will do 14.1 damage. Uh, we're currently boosted with stats, so it's not actually going to be that. But the stun time goes up as well. Oh, so good. That's just a no-brainer. There's, there's no... Really? Really, Jake? Really? This is... I feel you're mocking us by giving us the mysticism we would have needed to get you a guarantee. Uh, why... Why? The pain. I ache into my very soul. And I'm seeing no Dab Patrols in chat. Missed the opportunity, the golden opportunity that that emote was basically made for these scenarios. You scoundrel. <sighs> but alright. Um... You're trolling by not doing it. Oh, I see the meta troll. The most uh, feared of all internet trolls. Uh, honestly, none of the stats here are really that great. Wits is only useful for someone who's going to be acting in a challenge, really. To be perfectly honest, I think I think we go for the mysticism anyway. Yeah. But dear lord, that was, just, that was just vile. That was horrible. Why would you do this in a game? Why would you be so cruel? Right, we've basically used up all of the meat because our crafters are way too bloody good at their job. Um, beetle jelly does count as meat, though. Sure. Sure. Let's make some jellied greens. Neither of these things are green, but one of them is jelly, so I'll, I'll, I'll allow it. Jelly greens, not exa exciting, but we'll feed you. Hello, snack. That was a terrible place to go. I approve. I accept. You discover the ruins of... I... We're finding the cemeteries without even looking for them at this point. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Miss Minnie. I hope that whatever it is that um, that uh, Mr. Minnie and Minnie Me have come down with, uh, it passes quickly and it, it isn't anything particularly uh, that has any kind of long tail to it. 
And of course, I hope you're not coming down with it as well. It goes without saying. Yeah, no, seriously though, this, this, this I, we have we have stumbled across so many cemeteries in this in this run. Like this is this is this is abnormal. I've never had this before, and I've played several times through Tier Two. This is really abnormal. This is not a normal thing, unless it's something to do with my god. I don't know, but this is this is really abnormal. As soon as you enter the gravesite, you feel something is amiss. Many of the gravestones are crushed, and the earth beneath them has been moved. It could be grave robbers, but it could be something more. Investigate, of course. These were a couple of unliving corpses coming in and out of the crypt. There may be more inside, as you see many tracks around the place. I need to make them ultra-dead. It is true. They are, they are alive when they should be dead. How dare they? And this is an affront to my, my gods. Uh, my, my, my gods domain. No, no, no. All right. Let's get Dark Havoc in, involved. With that whomping great 14 attack. Yeah, you do some decent damage, but why you played away from? Like you should have played in. F what? I don't understand that. That's actually kind of weird. All right, let's uh, let's buff you a little bit more. And also play. A little bit of extra damage here. Going for extra protection. Dislike. Do not approve. Uh, however, now they have got vertical splash, so I don't want to be behind them, basically. It would be an ungood time to be there. Let's see if I can buff up Dark Havoc even more. No, they, they're just going purely for... For survivability here, that's an interesting play. Alright. Uh, Dark Avenue will take this one out, and we'll do a good bit of damage to these two, but ultimately won't go all the way. It could slow them down a bit more, though. Or I could summon a friend for them to deal with. Uh, the spirit isn't going to do a whole lot, though, so we'll just go for the, uh, the splash there. It's only, it's only horizontal splash, sadly. But it's good enough. Uh, at this stage, we could take out either of them. So let's take out the stronger. This is a level three physical battle, by the way. It appears that we've gotten to a point where level threes we can do flawlessly. Good to know. You kill the unliving and find a human looking child, right? No, mama, papa, brothers. When you try to talk to the child, it doesn't know what happened, only that its family is gone. You walk up to the child, but it hisses at you and runs off into the small tunnel. Well, I, hmm. I, uh, um, mistakes were made? Huh. Oh, sure. Here's Avak orphaning children now. Again, Bilal. You, you forgot the again part. <laughs> if those were its parents, I just re-killed them. It is Dark Avak, though, so what are you expecting? <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh my lord, I really can't believe that. Okay, so let's have a have a look at what we can we can do now. Hmm. We could go for. We could push for two-handed scrolls. Uh, 
A lot of our characters are mages right now. Like a disproportionately large amount of our people are wielding two-handed um, artifacts or or uh, scrolls of some sort. Well, I tried posting about the dark drink. The dark Avak probably drinks. Hey, in fact, dark Avak is drinking it right now. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's far more intimidating, far less, far less, uh, I know, wacky races. Not to say it isn't Mr. Gratchit, though. Uh, sorry, uh, Mr. Uh, Dr. Claw. Mr. Claw? Mr. Claw sounds positively polite and, and upstanding. Just an unfortunate name, that's all. So how many turns, the, you know what, that, that would actually be a genuinely good prediction. <laughs> how many turns until Avak finds another graveyard? Uh, but I think we are actually going to go for the... Uh, actually, we're sitting on these points now. Could I could I actually make any, any worthwhile bucks right now? I don't have very good leather. I, I really don't. The best I can see is fur leather. I could pick up fur leather. There's a lot of things I could do with fur leather. There's bunches of ropes I could make, actually. Like if we if we have a look at crafting right now, at the moment the robes that we've made, uh, you know, would be middling of, of varying qualities. But if we made it with fur leather, sixteen point five, and it's just fur leather. It's relatively easy to get. We could increase their movement speed. If everyone in the group had this, we'd be able to move much faster, so on and so forth. Um, scaled leather is even better beyond that, I think. Oh, actually, no. Scaled leather and fur leather are, are more or less the same thing. So scaled leather has a slightly better, uh, better overall result there. We know that there's malachite around, so I could just make things out of malachite. Ah... Super light and comfy rock robes. Can't go wrong with rock robes. Uh, additionally, having fur leather would allow us to make some decent uh, gathering tools too. And like you go all the way up to 135% gathering. For a gatherer, it gets increasingly worthwhile having gathering tools that give a percentage bonus because later on in their levels, they're going to be really, really good with it. And that, 142.5% group carry multiplier is, is kind of bonkers. Additionally, if you go down the medium armor route, you can make a lot of things out of leather as well. We don't need blood bones simply because we were kind to the uh, spider faction, so we can go over there and just gather blood bones. That was not never going to be an issue. Elven wood, dryad wood, though, these are options. Regardless, I think we hold off. We may find scaled leather on this on this island. That that one isn't an outside possibility. If we have a look in here, uh, scaled leather is the same tier. In fact, we might we might find enchanted leather as well. Um, should be grand. Incredibly, incredibly unlikely that we'll find a uh, tier 3 resource. Uh, that being said, we did find obsidian. So, you know, there is that. Elven wood can be amazing because it's so light. Uh, there's options. Let's go and do the smith's legacy first. You find the cave where Anya and Eva might be hiding, according to their grandfather, Bodan. Go in. You walk into the large underground chamber that is dark and eerie. In one corner, you spot the two girls huddling over small rocks and singing in Dwarvish. Walk up to them and say that it is time to go back to their grandfather, as he is very worried and sent you here. Grandpa always treats us like we're babies. Well, we ain't. We want to be proper dwarves now. But our dwarf family says we can't be dwarf wives because we can't sing the song. Well, we listened and we can. If there's one thing Rasalkas can do, it's sing. There, there are two ways that you can encounter them. This quest is actually incredibly, incredibly sweet. 
if you encounter them at the lake, because it is random where they are, then they're trying to become Rasalkas. If you encounter them in the cave, they're trying to be dwarves. It's, it's, it's kind of sweet that... You know, <laughs> They just want to embrace their heritage, basically. Um...